Um, my good friend, Loretta. She's going to speak a little bit. She's on the board uh, with DFW Normal, so she's got a lot of experience. So she's going to talk about how she felt about this. Yeah. 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 Oh, Okay. Howdy, y'all. I'm Loretta Labrada, the director of finance for DFW Normal, and I want to welcome all of you out here and thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you out here have ever been arrested for a marijuana related offense? You don't have to raise your hands, but I'm sure there's several. Okay, raise your hands. Yeah. <laughs> And how many of you out here have a good friend or a family member who's been arrested for a marijuana offense? And how many of you, when you pull up to a stop sign and that you see that cop car pull up behind you or beside you, kind of get a little bit of a queasy feeling instead of feeling protected and served? Yeah. That's too damn many. They say everything's bigger in Texas. We brag about it all the time, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Texas is second in the nation for arrest for marijuana-related offenses. 75,000 people were arrested in 2010, five years ago, for such offenses. Now, how many of you out here, and by looking around, I can tell this is going to be a big number, are 35 or under? Okay, of those 75,000 arrested, 80% of them were 35 and under. How many of you out here are 25 or under? 70% of those arrests rest were your people and your peers. I'm kind of a financial person, so let's talk finances for a minute. That same year, 2010, Texas spent $250 billion from arrest to incarceration, putting away marijuana possession people, people who had just a little bit on it. And I don't know about you, but tax day was this past Wednesday, and I wrote them a big check, and that is absolutely not what I want my tax dollars being spent on. Uh, yeah. How about we prosecute some real crimes, crimes with an actual victim, instead of chasing around people over a bad law that does nothing but create victims? This is Denton, Texas. And you people banded together here in this city and banned fracking. That's pretty friggin' impressive. Yeah. Well, don't you believe that prohibition is wrong as well? Yeah. So just think. If I mean, locking our citizens up in cages, forcing them into rehab as an alternative treatment, we can change that. The citizens here can change that. You've shown yourselves what you can do if you'll band together and do it. Did you know that a person caught with two ounces of le or less of marijuana, as little as a joint, can get up to two years in prison plus play a $2,000 fine? Better call Sloan. Better call Sloan. And if you're carrying around edibles or tinctures or concentrates of some sort, you can be subject to two years in state prison. It's ridiculous. Remember your Texas government, though. This is where you come in. This is a stupid law. Now imagine speaking out about cannabis. Some of you ha are kind of looking at us and going, wow, that's kind of interesting. They stand up on a lawn and they talk to a bunch of people about cannabis. What's going to happen to them when you do that? Well, the truth of the matter is nothing. Remember your Texas government. We cannot change laws in this state by petition. We cannot change laws in this state by just voting for a law. You have to contact your representatives, and we've hit on that here today. Myra Crownover, District 64, is many of your representatives, and Myra Crownover sits on the chair of the Public Health Commission, and that commission is the one that decides whether or not our bill for the whole plant medical marijuana, HB 3785, even gets a hearing, much less a chance to come to the floor and be voted on. If everyone today, in the sound of my voice, would look up Myra Crownover's number, look up your representative's number, and call them and tell them 
that we want the laws changed, I think it would make a big difference, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now more than ever before, we have a chance. Till the end of May, set Congress is in session in Austin, and we have a chance to make a difference. So I want you people to look, up, look it up. Do who represents me. Call your representatives. Email them. Write them. Do all of the above. Tell them to support HB 5107 for the decriminalization of marijuana. Tell them to support HB 3785. We are sick and tired of having our neighbors move to Colorado because they can't yeah. get the help that they need here. Yeah. Let's bring our families home. Let's keep our families from having to move to other states to get the life-saving medicine that they need. The time is now. We need you to make those calls. We need to be able to help people who have PTSD, who have cancer, people like my mom who has Alzheimer's. And it's all up to all of us to make those calls. Everybody that's hearing me right now, please, please call your representatives. Now, DFW Normal is one of the premier organizations in Texas, in the country even, for reforming marijuana laws. And I see that Denton can be the same thing. So I encourage each of you to get involved, to follow Denton Chapter, to follow DFW Normal Chapter and the DFW Normal website on the web. Come out to our events. Come out to our 420 party. It's going to kick ass. Come out to our march. You will not regret it. It's one of the most fun things you can do while making a difference. Herb's the word. Stay normal, y'all. Yeah.